What is up beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis Kimberly, if this is your first time here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how we can get our hair to be more strong, more resilient to breakage, and just restore the strength and elasticity in our hair. A big thing that I think is really important in doing that, it's actually two things, protein treatments and Olaplex treatments, specifically Olaplex number three. And so in this video, we're gonna be talking about what each of these things do for your hair, how they're effective, how they're different, and whether or not you can actually use these two things in combination. Because I think there's a lot of confusion about exactly what Olaplex is, the science behind it, how it's actually helping the hair. And I think there's also some misconception and kind of bad rap that comes with protein as well. So we're gonna talk about all of that today in today's video. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself obviously when it comes to protein treatments is what is a protein treatment? And a protein treatment is exactly how it sounds. It is a treatment that is meant to supplement your hair's protein supply. Your hair is made up of 90% protein, specifically a protein called keratin. So your hair is always repairing itself, making sure that it's got the protein that it needs to be strong and healthy. And so when we add these products to our hair, it's with the intention to restore that protein. Now, when we go out and we get our relaxers done, ladies, you know that you are actually causing a lot of damage to your hair when you're doing that. When you're getting your hair colored, you're causing damage. When you get your hair heat styled, you're causing damage. And with that damage, you are breaking down the proteins in your hair. So along your cuticle, you're gonna see little gaps and divots of missing protein, of missing um, construction in that hair shaft because of that damage. So what you're doing when you're adding a protein treatment to your hair is you're filling in those gaps and holes. This is not a permanent fix. It is merely temporary, which is why it's something that you should be regularly including and incorporating in your hair regimen. But it does temporarily improve the elasticity of your hair. It improves the strength of your hair, the shine of your hair, movability of your hair. So when you're getting these protein treatments, you're getting a product that contains ingredients like amino acids, acids, hydrolyzed protein, which is basically just a protein that is a low molecular, a smaller size protein that's easily absorbed into the hair shaft. You might see it in the form of vegetable protein or wheat protein. The one downside about protein treatments is that those ingredients, the amino acids, the hydrolyzed proteins, the wheat proteins, things of that sort, those things do tend to dry out the hair if used in excess. Now that if is a big if because your hair needs that protein. And I think that sometimes we jump to the conclusion, well, my hair's dry so it's protein sensitive, I can't use it without really actually taking a step back and saying, okay, wait, look, my hair is actually made of 90% protein. My hair is in need of protein. It does need to repair itself. And so, yes, there is, in a lot of instances, a need to supplement your hair with protein. Now, there's a balance, though. You always want to make sure that you're maintaining that protein moisture balance. Anytime you're doing a protein treatment, you should always follow up with some sort of moisturizing conditioner of some sort. A deep conditioner that's moisturizing, a leave-in conditioner that's moisturizing. You never wanna leave your hair just, you know, proteinified without actually putting that moisture back into your hair. Now, it's also important to pay attention to what kind of protein treatment you're picking up because there are some products that are light protein treatments and then there are other products that are more intensive protein treatments. So you really wanna make sure that you're reading the directions on your products to make sure that you are using them in the right fashion. For example, there's the Afog Two Minute Reconstructor, which is a light protein treatment that can be used on a weekly basis. But then there's also the Afog Two Step protein treatment that uh, I mistakenly picked up one time and didn't even realize when I picked it up that this was an intensive protein treatment that really should only be used every four to six weeks. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you're reading your products carefully and always balancing it with a moisture product afterwards. So all in all, protein treatments are meant to just fill in those gaps and holes in your hair. It really just forms a protective barrier on your hair strands. And for the most part, it works to really improve and repair the surface of your cuticle and make sure that you know your hair is strong and weathers the damage that we 
unfortunately put it through on a regular basis. Okay, so now what is Olaplex, specifically Olaplex number three? I will just say straight out the gate that I love Olaplex. I just think it's done wonders for my hair and it really is in a category of its own. There's really nothing else like it. It's got its own patent. It's based on science. It really and truly is an innovative, invention if you will of its own basically olaplex number three is a bond builder it works internally inside the hair shaft inside the hair cuticle to repair the bonds in your hair relax ladies you know that when you go and you get your chemical service done you are breaking the disulfide bonds in your hair now the disulfide bonds in your hair are the bonds that are responsible for really binding together those keratin particles in your hair. They're the ones that are responsible for building that protein structure in your hair. And they are the responsible bonds for the strength of your hair. So when you break those things down, you really are severely weakening the hair strand. But what Olaplex does, it has an active ingredient. I will just write it down here because Lord knows I might butcher that, but it's got an active ingredient in it that will actually attach to these broken disulfide bonds to rebuild, to reconnect these broken bonds. So I'm not gonna try to pretend that I know chemistry, but basically a disulfide bond is two sulfur bonds, right? That makes sense. Di, two, sulfide, sulfur. So there's two sulfur bonds that are connected. That's what creates this disulfide bonds bond. When you have your chemical treatment, when you apply your relaxer to your hair, that relaxer is going to break apart those sulfur bonds. So you're going to have two single sulfur bonds that no longer can connect to the protein structures in your hair. So what Olaplex does, it comes in, hello, 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 I see that you're single and you're single. I'm going to bind you two together the way that you were originally formed. So you are going to have this reconnected bond in your hair strand. It's going to improve the integrity of your hair. I'm telling you guys, when I used it, the first time I used it, my curls, if you will, my Texlax curls, because I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily call them curls, but my, my, you know, my little texture, it was so much more defined. My hair has been so much shinier lately. It feels really strong. It's been growing longer, at least I think so. And so I've really been experiencing a lot of great results with Olaplex number three. Now, unlike protein treatments, this has nothing really to do with protein. It has nothing to do with moisture. Like I said, this is a product of on its own. This is its own category. This is a bond builder. It works internally, whereas protein treatments typically are really working surface level, creating that barrier, filling in those gaps and holes in the cuticle. The the bond builder that Olaplex is goes inside the cuticle and repairs from the inside. And the great thing about it is that you can combine Olaplex with protein treatments. You can combine Olaplex with moisture treatments. So it's not gonna at all interfere with your protein moisture routine that you got going on. You can still do your protein treatments. The only thing that I would say is that I don't know that I would do like a really intensive protein treatment with Olaplex because it does contain some protein in it, but not to the extent that I would at all call it a protein treatment. It's not a protein treatment, though it does contain proteins. You have products in your drawer right now that contain proteins, but it's not a protein product. Um, so I just wouldn't necessarily combine like Olaplex with like a super intensive protein treatment. I don't know, just me personally. And I really do suggest actually that you develop a routine that incorporates both Olaplex and your protein treatments. The thing that's nice about Olaplex is that it is absolutely safe to use on a weekly basis. I personally use it at least once a week, but it can also be used two to three times a week per the instructions. So if you have severely damaged hair, you might wanna consider using Olaplex multiple times a week in order to really restore that strength in your hair. So long story short is yes, you can use protein treatments along with Olaplex number three. I absolutely encourage you guys to look into that make sure that you're maintaining that protein moisture balance in your hair you may want to consider doing a strand test there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube about how to determine whether or not your hair is in need of moisture versus protein I'll even link one down below that I think is actually a really good explanatory demonstration for how you can do that 
Um, but once you have actually assessed what your hair needs, then you're definitely gonna wanna cater your routine to that. You're gonna want to balance that protein treatment with your moisturizing conditioner. You're gonna want to add that Olaplex as a pretreatment in your hair so that you can really restore those bonds that we've been breaking through heat styling and chemical treatments. So I hope that that explains the differences between the two and kind of encourages you guys to look into that a little bit more because I really, I really credit those things a lot and me being able to retain length in my hair. So if you like this video, then definitely give it a big thumbs up. It helps my channel, it helps me reach more people. Also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload a video every Sunday. And I guess, yeah. Until next time guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.